In this video, I wanna go over what T-bills or treasury bills are. And these are one of the easiest ways to get a low risk but high earning annual percentage yield that can sometimes be over 5%. And that makes these a lot better choice instead of putting your money into somewhere like a high yield savings account. And at the end of this video, I'll buy some T-bills through my Charles Schwab account so you'll know what that looks like. Hey there, welcome to Bench with Jazzy. On this channel, I talk about personal finance and credit cards. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. First, let's talk about what is a T-bill. So T-bills or treasury bills, they are short-term U.S. debt securities issued by the U.S. government and their maturity lasts between four and 52 weeks. And these T-bills, they are considered low risk because they are issued by the government and they are typically sold between increments of 100 to up to $10 million. So why would you want to buy a T-bill? Well, in many cases, especially right now, T-bill rates are higher than other types of bonds and they may have higher interest rates than high yield savings accounts. T-bills are also lower risk compared to putting your money into places like stocks as they aren't reliant on companies that may have volatile prices. So these T-bills, they are fairly liquid, especially if you buy them in places like Charles Schwab or Vanguard because once you put your money in, you can take it whenever you need it. You don't have to have any type of wait period and there's no fees involved. And if you do want to wait until the maturity date ends, then you only have to wait between four and 52 weeks as that's how long the T-bill maturities are. And finally, for the interest that you do make from these T-bills, you are only partially taxed. So you're not taxed by the local or the state, but you are still taxed by the federal government. So this is actually really good because compared to buying stocks, if you ever make gains on these stocks that you buy, then you will be taxed from all three of these places. And so how do T-bills work? When you are looking at a T-bill, you are essentially just looking at its face value. So let's say you're wanting to buy a T-bill that is worth the face value of $1,000. Well, the amount that you're paying is actually called the discount rate and you might be paying, let's say $950. And when this T-bill matures, you will be getting that $950 plus the interest rate, which would be $50, which brings the total value to $1,000. And so a lot of times this interest rate may be over 5%. So that's how a T-bill works and how it can benefit you, but also what are the cons that could be associated with these? Well, for buying T-bills, the return rate may not be as high as buying stocks as they are less risky. Also, you still need to pay federal taxes on the interest that you make. And then finally, they do have limited growth potential as the current inflation rate from now to the future, it could be higher than the interest rate that you are getting on these T-bills. And next, let's go over the difference between treasury bonds, treasury notes, and treasury bills. So the difference actually depends on the maturity date as well as the interest rate that you may be receiving. Well, as for T-bonds, these are typically the more longer term securities they work similar to treasury bills. However, the maturity dates tend to be longer than 10 years. And as for treasury notes, it's more of a medium sized security where the maturity lengths typically last between one and 10 years. And finally, we have the T-bill, which like we said before, has the shortest range of maturity, which tends to be between four weeks to 52 weeks. Next, you might be wondering, where do I buy a treasury bill? Well, you can buy them from three places and the first place you can look is Treasury Direct. But actually, I'd say that this is the less preferred method. There's some not so user friendly aspects of this website where if you want to sell your T-bill before the maturity date, there's a lot more paperwork associated with it. And that brings us to another type of place where we can buy T-bills, which are places like Vanguard, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, and more. So these online brokers are pretty user friendly 
only when it comes to buying and even selling these T-bills. And also these places, they don't charge fees. One con of buying from these online brokers compared to Treasury Direct is that you can't really buy treasury bills under $1,000. And finally, you can buy treasury bills in the form of ETFs or exchange traded funds. Now let's go over how to buy a treasury bill on Charles Schwab. To buy treasury bills, all you have to do is click the trade tab, then you go into bonds and you'll be brought to this page. And really we're just focusing on the US treasuries and this is the amount of maturity. So if you want to get it back in three months, then you'll just click this one. And next we'll be brought to this page. So this is how you buy it. And this is the different types of treasury bills available. And as for the coupon column, this is an indication of kind of like how much interest you'll be paid periodically. Usually it's zero for the smaller types of treasury bills, but sometimes it's not like in this case. And then you have the date of maturity. So for this one, you'll be receiving it back on November 9th. And then you have the quote price, which should be under a hundred. And then you have the minimum that you need to purchase. So here is $10,000 and right here it would be $5,000. And sometimes $1,000 is available, but it just depends on the market. And then finally, so the most important thing that I tend to look at is the yield to maturity rate. So this is kind of like the uh, interest rate that you'll be receiving at the end. So you'll get a 5.48% yield, which is not bad. So let's go ahead and choose this one, which so right now the market is after hours, so it will just buy the next day. And then looking at this, basically have the same information, but you might need to change the minimum amount. So we're gonna do $10,000. And then finally, if everything looks good, so we're gonna be paying $9,867 now, but then three months from now, we're gonna be given $10,000. So we'll be getting back over $100, which is pretty nice. So that's how you buy a treasury bill. Let me know in the comments below, are you buying treasury bills or do you find that there's some other better investment methods that work better for you? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in another one. Bye.